If snail mucin grosses you out, then today's video is definitely for you. Hey guys, welcome back to Sherry Proof. Thank you so much for joining me today. If you're new, welcome. And if you are already a part of the Sherry Proof family, thank you so much for clicking on today's video. Today we're talking about Vigreed, which is another Korean skincare brand that I have been trying over several months now. And if you've heard about Vigreen, then comment down below to let me know that you have heard about this brand before. But just in case you have not, or you've been looking at them, have had some interest, and have been wondering, should I try these products? Then today I hope that the information that I will share will help you make that decision. So this brand with green is actually a compound word of vegetable and green and that could kind of give you an idea of where this brand is going. This brand is vegan and they are very concerned with using sustainable inputs in their products and packaging and you will see this in the considerations that they make in terms of how they formulate their products and how they package their products for consumers. So over several months, I have been trying four products from the line. They do have a couple others, but these are what I've tried. And I think they've given me a really good idea and feel of the brand of their products, of what they're trying to accomplish with their offer on the market. And let me just preface all of this by saying that if you're looking for vegan and cruelty-free skincare and you have very sensitive skin, look no further. You're probably going to find what you need from this brand. Now in the intro of this video, I did mention that if you were looking for a snail mucin alternative, that this video is for you. And that's because the initial products that I think threw this brand into the spotlight and on my radar is because of their mucin products that contain no snail mucin at all because this is a vegan brand. So what are they actually using? Well, they are using something called phytomucin that comes from wild yam extract. And that leads me into the first product that I want to talk about today and that's their alcohol-free mucin essence toner. And they actually have on the bottle a non-snail by wild yam. And this is what it looks like. And they also have in their line a mucin serum also with this major component. I have not tried that. I have been trying this toner, however. Let's talk a little bit about this wild yam extract and why are we even comparing it to snail mucin. Besides the fact that it's actually similar in texture, apparently this phytomucin has been showing similar effects on the skin like snail mucin. So we're talking about the antibacterial impact, the antioxidant impact, the healing impact, the brightening impact. So that's very exciting news, both for people who might want vegan skincare, but also for people who like really can't wrap their mind around putting snail mucin on their skin. What makes this extract special is that they have discovered a particular compound in Wileyam extract called diosgenin. And according to the information that is available on the research on this extract, it has been shown to delay chronological aging as well as it contributes to reversing photo damage. Not only that, there are some studies that are showing that it is an effective inhibitor of hyperpigmentation. This toner from Vigreen actually contains a 68% of that wild yam extract and that sounds really, really exciting, but that's not the only thing that's in this toner. It also contains panthenol, allantoin, another ingredient that I really love, and it also contains hyaluronic acid, sodium hyaluronate, and hydrolyzed hyaluronic acid. So you are going to be able to get hydration at all levels on the skin. These molecules are all different. Some of them will attract moisture to the top layer of your skin, some will work a little bit deeper. And I love that they've included all these different types of hyaluronic acid in this toner as well. As you will see, this toner does have some body. It does have a little bit of viscosity. It reminds me a lot of like the Haru Haru rice toner, like the Purito Centella toner. You know, those toners that are a little bit thicker, they have a little bit of viscosity, yet they melt beautifully into the skin. That's this toner. I absolutely love the texture of it. It is super hydrating, yet it feels very, very lightweight on the skin. Now notice that they call this an essence toner and I love that they put that in the name and they take all the guesswork for somebody who might be new to Korean skincare because this is one of those toners that is perfect for layering. So if you're oily like me, you could probably do one or two layers but if you're somebody that's a little bit more dehydrated, a little bit drier, normal skin and you want to do many layers, you absolutely can do that with this product. It's not only going to be a toner, it's going to give you that essence step as well and prepare your skin for all the serums that you're going to be giving it after. And while it does have that yam extract in there I do not find this to be sticky at all and I know that's a worry for some people because they're thinking ah this is going to be gross feeling and sticky and all that no there is absolutely no stickiness with this it absorbs really really nicely into the skin now one of the reasons why I said earlier that if you have sensitive skin then this might be a line for you to look to is because all of their products are fragrance free they are essential oil free they are alcohol free and these are some of the things that could tend to create sensitivity for people who have sensitive skin or people who are easily sensitized the bottle is also quite substantial. This actually contains 150 ml of product and you will get it on Amazon for around 11 US dollars. And for what you're getting here, that is an excellent price. The next item I have here is probably my favorite of the line and this is their Skin Barrier Reishi Serum with Lactobacillus Ferment. 
This one is 50 ml. It will run you around 16 US dollars. Again, I think that's a really good price for what you're getting in here for the quality of ingredients and the product, the formulation, as well as the fact that this is 50 ml and most serums tend to be around 30 ml. As implied by the name, this contains a 65% reishi mushroom extract. And if you've been in the skincare world for a while or reading up certain things, you may have heard some buzz about this ingredient because it has well aging or anti aging benefits. It helps with skin firmness. It also helps to strengthen your skin barrier and calm the skin. But again, while that may be the focus of this particular serum, it also contains extracts from other mushrooms, such as snow mushroom and chaga mushroom as well. Snow mushroom extract actually helps to deeply hydrate the skin. And chaga mushroom is actually an antioxidant. It helps to reduce redness and protect the skin from sensitivity. This one also contains a lot of fermented probiotics. And if you watch my video on how we're leveling up our skincare in 2023, I did talk about probiotics and you will continue to see it more and more in skincare. It has been in Korean skincare for a long time because there are so many benefits of being able to have the proper microbiome on your skin. But these probiotics actually have an anti-acne effect. It also helps with skin elasticity. This also contains glycerin, so it's nicely hydrating. Green tea extract, another well-known antioxidant, niacinamide and adenosine, which is another well-aging ingredient that you tend to find in Korean skincare. Now, why is this one probably my favorite product that I've tried from the brand? Because yes, it is focused on skin barrier protection and so on. But this reminds me a lot of Ectoin in terms of its impact on the skin. And whenever I feel that type of sensitivity or my skin feels a little bit sensitized or I'm going through some drama in my skin, I reach for products like this that is going to help to strengthen my skin barrier and protect my skin barrier. And my skin really, really, really does love this one. It is a lighter brown, almost like golden color. And this serum also has a little bit of viscosity and weight to it but it really feels lovely on the skin it's not one that i use in the daytime although you can absolutely use it am and pm but this is one that i would have generally brought it into my nighttime routine because of my oily skin type and because i tend to keep it a little bit lighter during the day next we have their seeker serum and you would probably think that this one may have been my favorite right <laughs> because you all know how much I love Sika aka Centella Asiatica. So immediately if you have any inflammatory skin conditions, you have acne, any of those types of conditions, this is going to be a serum that is going to be a really good supporting product in your routine. It contains just over 70% of Centella leaf water which is filled with malic acid. It also contains panthenol to help strengthen your skin barrier and I wanted to point out that it also contains sodium hyaluronate which is going to be able to hydrate your skin a little bit deeper. This one is a lovely calming serum so if your skin is upset angry that's the time to bring this one out now like i mentioned i think this is going to be a really great serum that supports a routine that is trying to deal with something like acne for example this will not be the main thing to treat the acne but it's going to support if you're using retinol salicylic acid or other ingredients that directly target acne this is going to help reduce the inflammation surrounding your breakouts and of course we know why reducing inflammation is very important because if there's inflammation and irritation that's going to lead to more hyperpigmentation especially for skin of color so even though you're going through the motions of trying to get your acne under control that's why it's so important to have supporting anti-inflammatory ingredients in your skincare routine the texture of this one is slightly a little bit more lightweight than the reishi mushroom but you can actually layer both of them really nicely together i would actually go in with the seeker first and then put the reishi on top and again the seeker serum could also be used morning and evening with no issues and finally we have a moisturizer in this line now they do have a moisturizer i think that's more for acne prone skin and that's actually one that i wanted to try however i ended up getting this one instead and this is the daily moisture cream and before i go into a little bit more detail on this let me just tell you that if you are looking for a no nonsense non fussy cream that you could use without having to think about what it's going to interact with what it could play well with or perhaps you're probably having very sensitized skin and you just need something that's going to be a moisturizer and not create any problems, not mess up anything, then this is such a great option. This is no frills, no fuss. They have minimal ingredients in here, which is something that becomes very important and sometimes you don't realize how important it is until you actually need a product like this. Now, one of the things we tend to like in moisturizers is glycerin because it's nicely hydrating. It's a humectant. This does contain that, but it also contains some squalane. Squalane is a very interesting oil that you find in skincare products it can help to increase skin hydration but it also helps with certain skin conditions because it is also anti-inflammatory there is also a compound in squalene that will also help to inhibit bacterial development now squalene 
squalene is not to be confused with squalene. But those two words are different by one letter and that one letter makes a huge difference. Squalene, as most of you may know, is traditionally harvested from shark liver. Squalene, however, is usually gotten from plant sources like olives, rice bran. Vigreen actually has their sustainably derived from sugarcane. Squalene is actually non-comedogenic, so it won't clog your pores. So it's actually one of those oils that are really good for people who are acne prone. And it'll also actually help to promote a healthy microbiome on your skin. What I really love about this cream is the texture. It feels like somewhere between a lotion and a cream. It has a really, really lovely texture. As you start to apply to your skin, you will feel it melting in nicely. It feels lightweight, just like all the other products that I've tried in this line, yet you will feel that it gives significant hydration and moisturization to the skin. Again, this is a moisturizer that I tend to pull out if my skin feels a little bit sensitized, or let's say on a night when I do a high strength peel and I really don't want to be packing on much other actives that might irritate my skin on top of that, this might be a moisturizer that I will use to cap off everything. I think for people who have drier skin types and they are concerned with texture because there are some people with dry skin who really don't want to feel more emollient or heavy creams on the skin, this is going to be a really, really nice option for you. On my skin, if I'm just using like a vitamin C serum in the morning and then using this, this will be fine during the day as well. But I'm also actually prefer it at night because it's lovely layered on top of other skincare for me without feeling heavy at all. But you know that you've put on a really good moisturizer. It's about 16 US for 50 ml of product and while this might sound basic like I mentioned before sometimes you don't realize how much you need a basic moisturizer in your skincare collection until you actually do so guys those are my thoughts on the four products from Vigreen that I have been trying over several months now I will put all the direct links in my description box below so check it out we've come to the end of another video these are my thoughts on the four products that I've tried from this brand and I completely enjoyed everything it is a brand that I recommend especially if you're looking for vegan skincare especially if you want to get on the snail mucin trend but you can't handle the thought of snails or probably because you really need a vegan option definitely check out their mucin products as well and of course if you are somebody who has very sensitive skin or you are easily sensitized the green is a brand that might be able to give you some great supporting products for your active ingredients i hope you guys enjoyed this video have you tried anything from this korean brand before leave it in the comments down below if you have any questions feel free to ask them i'd be happy to answer and i'll see you guys in another video soon take care bye